Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add some shapes for my shapes library. Okay, there's a heart. And uh, I'm going to add another heart. And I'm going to add another heart. Okay, so now that I have my hearts on the mat, I'm going to draw a box around these hearts again. And that's going to select them all for me. Okay, now if that's all you have on your mat, let's say you have three hearts and you want to select them all, okay, you can create the box or as an alternative, you can right click on the mat and click select all. And again, if you want to deselect them, you just deselect them, you just click away from them. Okay, so now again, I can go ahead and click these, okay, and then I can go to object and I can group them together. Okay, now deselecting them and reselecting them will basically bring them up as one group again so I can resize them all together. I can also rotate them together, move them together, and then again I can go to object and I can ungroup and then move them separately. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of these two smaller hearts and I'm going to keep this big heart. I'm going to put them off to the side here. Now I'm going to grab my type tool and under the font section I'm going to grab a nice font here something something bold maybe Arial black and I'm going to click on the mat and I'm going to type the word love okay now I'm going to grab my selection tool and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger I'm holding down shift to keep it in proportion now let's say that you want to take and you want to move these letters separately or individually because right now right now basically anywhere I click the only thing I can do is is work with this word as a group okay so let's say that we want to have full control over each letter in this word alright so what we'll do is we'll highlight it we're gonna to go to object and we're gonna ungroup it okay now notice that if we click we can now move or manipulate each letter individually. Okay, so basically it's ungrouped the letters from that word. and We can do whatever we want with them. Okay, so let's say that all we wanted to do is just kind of move them and, and make them a, a little funky, you know, just to kind of spice it up a little bit so it's not just nice and straight. Okay, so we want it like that. And now let's say that we want to resize this, but we want to make sure that we resize them all to the same size. So what we can do now that we've moved them, I can go ahead and create a box around all four of these letters. Okay, so we're going to select them all and we're going to go to object and we're going to group. Now if I click on any of them, they all highlight as a group and I can resize them as a group. So now I know that when I resize it, everything's being resized the same way. Okay, so now I can take this and I can just put it on top here. And if we take a look, we can actually preview what our cut's going to look like by clicking on this preview button. Okay, so the red line here is going to cut out the heart, and then we're going to cut out the word love from the inside of that. Okay, so that's basically what this preview button does here. Okay. To take it even a step further, let's say that you want to make this entire design a little bit bigger. Well, we can resize each of these individual elements separately, or we can group them together. Let's draw a box around the heart and the word love. And then we can go to object and click group. And now you'll notice that no matter where I click, I can move this entire thing as if it were one piece. Okay, now I can resize it. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Or actually, Let's make it about this big, move it over here, and then do a copy, and let's do a paste autofill. So now we've got these little message hearts here. Okay, we can take them all, we can resize them, put them on the mat. So when you're ready to cut this, you can click on these little scissors here, the cut with Cricut button, and doing so is gonna bring up a window that asks you to select your Cricut model and your firmware version. So that you don't have to do this every single time, I'm going to hit cancel and I'll show you here under edit preferences. You can click on the cutter tab and check this box that says remember Cricut model and firmware and click OK. So once we tell the software to remember the model and firmware version, clicking on this icon will get your cutting process started. 
Thank you.